Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again to do another video. And today's video, we have an unboxing. And unfortunately, I can already tell you that the news is not good, at least in terms of the longevity of this product in my collection. Earlier, when I did my H&M haul, I received this box and I didn't have time to open it and do a full unboxing then. So I opened it and peeked real quick and I can tell you it's going back. But since I have it in my possession, I wanted to do a review on it and just compare it to some of the other items in my collection that I like better. That way maybe I can help one of you. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up it came directly from Tory Burch Retail. It was part of their spring sale. It was a private event and I got 30% off. So this bag retails for $5.98 and so I paid around $4.50. I think it was a little bit more than that after tax. Came in in the dust bag and what it is, without further ado, is the Soft Fleming in the Glazed calfskin leather and it doesn't say calfskin on the website it actually says leather but I did call and I found out that this is glazed calfskin it's distressed so all these dents are supposed to be there and there's even some color variation where it looks worn and that's supposed to be there I did run my fingernail over it gently and it does not scratch like the soft flemings and lambskin. I had three of the soft flemings and lambskin and if I barely touched it, it would scratch. When I took pictures of it before I sold it, I scratched it. I ended up reducing the price because I scratched it. It scratches so easily, but I did like the feel of the leather better than this one. This one just feels, I don't know, it's so hard to describe, maybe just a little plasticky, and that may be because it's glazed. But I have this bag, which is a glazed, crinkled leather by Tory Burch, and I believe it's also calf. And when I feel it, it feels buttery in comparison. I did have a chance to feel this bag in the glazed calfskin in the burgundy color and I don't know for sure what the name of the color was. It was either claret or claret or temperillo maybe but it I really didn't like how that one felt. This one feels better than that. This one is in the color almond flower and let me just do a spin real quick so you can see. It is definitely more durable than any of the other soft flemings. So if this is a style you want and I do feel like it's a really good dupe for the Chanel 19, then it's great. And I'm gonna link another review on this bag that was done by Jane Church. She got this bag and she loves it. And that's great, I'm glad she does. But to me, it just doesn't have the feel that I'm looking for. So I'm not even going to unwrap it further. I will tell you that inside of the the flap, this top part here is all leather down to the inside. And let me just look at the lining real quick. It's a really nice fabric twill type lining. There's lots of pockets inside. I've showed you this bag before because like I said, I did have it in my collection. I can link my Tory Burch collection from early on where I compared the leather of this bag to some of my other Tory Burch bags but it wasn't this bag. It was my lambskin version of this bag. And I liked how that one felt better, but the leather was so thin and so fragile, it scratched like that. This one doesn't do this. If you want this bag, I would get it in this color. This is the best feeling one of these that I have felt in this almond flower color. Again, I didn't love it in the burgundy color. It just didn't feel good. I don't know how to describe it other than that. I prefer the Kira, the lamb on this, to the lamb on the Fleming. Again, this is calf, but most of the Flemings come in lamb. The Kira leather feels much hardier to me, and I really like 
the texture of it. I also don't scratch it when I'm opening and closing it. So to me, that, that really tells me that there's a difference in the quality. If you want the quilted look, I would recommend the Willa. And this is an outlet bag, but it's made from goat skin. It's got an incredible texture to it and it feels amazing. So I would recommend this bag over the soft lumming and the glazed leather. But if you have your heart set on this one, I do think it's durable and it's a great size. It looks great on the body. It has a nice leather smell. I smelled it. It's just not for me. I have too many bags to keep one that doesn't make my heart flutter and get me all excited and hot and bothered. And plus this one was expensive. Even at 30% off, it was over $450. So I would rather take my money. I would rather take my money and spend a hundred plus dollars less and get a Willa than do this one. So I think that's about all I have to say on this bag. Again, it's the Tory Burch Soft Lemming, the regular size, the color is Almond Flower, and it's the Distressed Crinkled Calfskin. Gorgeous bag, just not for me, and it's all about how it feels. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's short and sweet. I am Erin, the Handbag Housewife. Please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.